welcome to Prestige Automotives, Mitsubishi Delica, and this one's a 2007 on a 56 plate, and it's a 2.4 litre G package edition, four wheel drive, automatic, petrol, and also ULES compliant. We don't find many Delicas here on the roads in the UK, and this is a great, great example. A very practical eight-seater family MPV that also has a sporty element to it. And as you can see here from the rear bumper, the side skirts, the front bumper, and also the rear spoiler. And an 18-inch multi-spoke alloy wheels which complement the sporty look of the car very, very nicely. So it's an eight-seater family MPV, also comes with the privacy glass, front and rear cameras, and has a beautiful beige interior. And it also comes with the Rockford Foscate speakers around the car. A great example that's been cherished and well looked after by the previous owner. And to take you inside the interior, And straight away you're welcomed by the beige soft velour seats. Very, very comfortable to be sat on. You've got the armrest for your driver and passenger and your rear passengers as well, which we'll show you as we go along in the video. Excellent amount of ground clearance, step in and out of the car. A very, very good seating position actually in, in, um, in one of these. You'll find that you're sitting as high up as an SUV. Controls for your windows. Good amount of space here in the door bin, some little cubby holes. This vehicle has covered 138,264 kilometres, which is equivalent to 85,913 miles. So just a shy under 86,000 miles here, guys. And as you can see on the left hand side, your clock has been converted into miles per hour. So when you, when you do drive on the roads here in the UK, of course, everything will be reading in miles. So that's one less thing for you to do. Nice large dashboard, all very nice, neat and tidy. Electric power folding mirrors. Very, very handy considering the size of the car. And the same on the opposite side as well. and all that can be operated by just a panel of buttons here to the right hand side to the steering. We've got a multifunctional steering wheel here as well. We've got cruise control. You've also got your volume controls here on the left hand side. And to bring you here to the center, we've got your infotainment screen. Now this can be used for your radio system, of course, your cameras, which are all around the car. So that's your side camera. You also got your front camera here as well. So that's a camera looking to the left hand side, also to the right hand side there. And when you do pop the car into reverse, you have your reversing camera as well. Get your climate control here with air conditioning. And to just demonstrate that's in full working order, put the temperature completely down, we pop the AC on. And meanwhile that kicks in. Automatic gearbox, we've got your park, reverse, neutral and drive. And here we also have your, um, your four wheel drive settings, which can go from four wheel to two wheel. So two wheel, four wheel, then you can go into the locks settings as well. And that will also update you here on the, on your uh, cluster as well. So just subject to uh, weather and obviously where you're traveling, you can select which modes that you want to be in. Air conditioning has kicked in very, very nicely there, guys. Nice cool air coming up the ventilation, which is perfect. We've got the armrest for both passenger and driver. As already mentioned, we've got two cup holders here, two cup holders for your rear passengers. We also have a storage space just underneath here as well cup holder then we've got a 12 volt socket outlet just there at the bottom as well we've also got a nice thick luxury pile of carpets here as well guys and as you can see it's in very very good condition and just before we take you to the rear passenger seating area as mentioned earlier on the video we've got the near side door which is electrically operated and that is by the panel of buttons here so if we just press that down so that's in full working order there and to close the door you can also press the button once more time and that will close electrically. Here on the offside this door is operated manually 
very, very easy. And just bring you back here, we also got your rear dual climate control, rear fog light also fitted to the car. And to bring you to the second row of seats here guys, we've got a total of three seats, Isofix on this seat here and on the far side. Then we've also got three seats at the back as well, so three in the third, three in the second and two at the front, so a total of an eight seater. We've got your third passenger's lap belt here in the middle and we also have an armrest should there not be a third person occupied here in the middle row seats. And we've also got your rear entertainment system here with the DVD playing for your rear passengers. And a lovely thick pile of carpets again here which follow through from the front all the way down to the back. And to access the third row of seats guys, very simple and easy. We have a lever just here that we need to retract upwards which will allow the backrest to come forwards. Slide the seat forward here as shown. Nice and easy to step in. Lap belt for the middle passenger and we've got the seat belts on either side of the uh, trims here. We've got two cup holders, two cup holders there as well and these seats can be retracted forwards and completely put up to the sides should you not want to use a third row of seats to carry an extra luggage. And to put the seats back all we need to do is just repeat the process. There's a lever just here as well which will allow you to do that just here at the bottom as you can see then we also have your armrests here as well and we've got one on the opposite side which we'll show you as we go around in the video quite a nice neat and tidy example ladies and gentlemen there are going to be some age related imperfections around the paintwork which I'm pretty sure you'd appreciate from a used car and to bring you around the back reversing camera nicely tucked away in the rear light cluster rear fog light good amount of space here in the back you can also pop your belongings underneath in these spaces as well if the third row seats are obviously occupied now these seats can collapse forward and go to the right hand side and all the way up for a, a good amount of loading space here in the back and to do that it's very simple and easy we have a lever just here which you'll need to push away from you to enable the back half of the seat down. We need to make sure that the seat matches the arrow just there. And we have a lever just here that we need to pull and then which will release the actual seat itself, which I'll need to use with two hands guys. So just give us a couple of moments. And to take you around the near side. So we've got the power sliding door here. You can operate this by the remote control key and the car does come with two keys. And just to the left hand side we've got a silver button on the end that you need to click in twice to enable the electric door to slide and close as well as open very nice neat and tidy all four tires are in excellent condition so they won't need to be changed anytime soon and the vehicle also comes with the wind deflectors quite a common feature on a lot of japanese imports just give you a tour of the roof as well very nice neat and tidy so the power sliding door can be operated by the remote, by the remote control key from the outside when you want to step inside the car by the handle and then from the inside just the handle here as well as for the driver at the front as well Got your Isofix anchor points just here and the one left hand side just there as well. And to take you to the front passenger seating area. Again, very, very nice, neat and tidy here on the door cards, on the armrests, electric seats, space here, funny. Your belongings, refreshments, passenger seats here, also very nice, neat and tidy, no wear and tear here. Most common places are the bolsters. Slight blemish here on the interior on the front passenger seat. And we have one just here on the driver's seat as well, just so you're fully aware of that.
glove box. One at the top, one at the bottom. Got some space here as well for any of your belongings. And to take you around the front of the car, and we can show you the engine bay. We've got your front fog lights, extending headlights for the brighter visibility. And we've got a beautiful chrome finished front grille here and with your front cameras situated just there. Very, very nice, neat and tidy. Engine's running there in the background as you may be able to hear guys. So there we have it guys, just to recap, Mitsubishi Delica, 2007 on a 56 plate, 2.4 litre G package edition, and this one's a four wheel drive. You can also pop it into two wheel drive as well. Automatic petrol, Euless compliant. It comes with 18 inch yellow wheels, one power sliding door, eight seater, very, very practical indeed throughout. Privacy glass, front and rear cameras, upgraded Rockford Foscate speakers, and it's in pristine condition throughout and finished in a beautiful white exterior with the beige interior. For more information, please do give us a call on 0121 392 9394 or you can send us an email which is sales at prestige-automotives.co.uk and to visit our website and to browse through our inventory is www.prestige-automotives.co.uk Finance and delivery are both available dealership facilities and if there's anything we missed out on the video that you'd like to know a little bit more about on this vehicle, please do give us a call and we will be more than delighted to help. Thank you very much for taking the time out to watch our video today and we look forward to speaking to you soon.